From the Ford Sports Desk, AOMU8 Sports. The St. Louis Blues have a six-season playoff streak on the line, and it won't be known if the streak continues until Game 82. The final regular season game tonight, that is. But last night, the Blues had some business to take care of with a chance to increase their odds and get revenge on the rival Blackhawks after Wednesday's last-second stunner. Let's go to the United Center. Carter Hutton getting the start for the Blues last night. His first start in a month, but St. Louis would get the first strike. Here, Joel Edmondson takes the shot, and the big Swede, Patrick Berglund, tips the puck into the net. Just under two minutes left in the first. Notes go up 1-0. Middle of the second period, two-on-one chance for the Blues. Shen to Tarasenko, but he can't convert J.F. Berube with a big save. You know Tarasenko would love to have that one back. And the missed opportunity would seem costly onto the third period. Eight minutes in, and the Blackhawks get the equalizer. Eric Gustafson with the tally. But in the blink of an eye, Blues get the lead right back. Berglund once again, his 16th of the season. Jaden Schwartz adds another in the third period. And then later, Berglund adds the icing on the cake as he sends one into the empty net. Hats off to him. Berglund with his second career hat trick as St. Louis tops rival Chicago 4-1. So here's where we stand after last night's victory. 94 points for the Blues, 93 for the Colorado Avalanche. Those two teams will face off tonight with playoff hopes on the line. A win against Colorado or simply reaching overtime will send the Blues to the postseason. Tonight's game is set for 8 p.m. Central, and the winner takes on the Nashville Predators in the first round of the playoffs. Exciting stuff there. Missouri baseball entered yesterday's contest with Alabama, winners of nine of the last 11 contests, and nationally ranked. The game time was moved up due to cold weather, but could the Crimson Tide cool off the Red Hot Tiger bats? Windy chilly day at Taylor Stadium, T.J. Sikama on the hill for Missouri, and he was absolutely dealing in this one here. Sam Prater thinks he has a walk, but not so fast. The home plate umpire punches him out. Sikama then gets help from the defense. Alex Samples makes the diving snag at third, still able to throw out the runner across the diamond at first. Sikama going six innings, six strikeouts, two runs allowed. Missouri trailed 2-0 in the fourth until Zach Hanna drives in Cameron Meisner with a base hit to right. Cuts the Tiger deficit in half, but however, that is the only offense Missouri would muster. Tigers fall 2-1. They will look to even the series today at 1 o'clock with Michael Plassmeyer expected to take the hill. Elsewhere on the diamond, the Mizzou softball team dropped the series opener against the fifth-ranked Bulldogs of Georgia. The Tigers got roughed up in this one, allowing eight runs to score. The loss drops Mizzou to 20 and 20 on the season, with just more than a dozen games remaining. And some day baseball yesterday as the Royals were in action against the Cleveland Indians. An offense continued to be a struggle for Kansas City in this game. The Royals were able to jump out to a quick 2-0 lead, but could not add any extra. They fall to Cleveland 3-2, dropping their record to 1-4 on the season. You won't be able to tell by feeling the temperature outside, but Mizzou football is back in just seven days. Well, at least for the annual black and gold spring game, that is. And yesterday, the team took the field to practice. Barry Odom going into his third year leading the Tigers, who finished last year with a loss in the Texas Bowl. Seniors Drew Locke and Terry Beckner Jr. practiced for Mizzou yesterday. The team went through drills on offense, defense, and special teams. Their spring game is a week from today at Faro Field. And lastly, happy Masters weekend to my fellow golf fans out there. It's a tradition unlike any other. And after round two, Patrick Reed leads the field at nine under par while Tiger Woods sits at four over. We'll see if a cool 13 under from, the, from, for, from Tiger is in the cards on a rainy and windy day in Augusta, Georgia today. And that's all for sports.